Hello everyone. So welcome you all to our next video of the interview question series. And in this video, we are going to talk about Snowflake, which is a very popular so tool. So the nowadays. first question is, what is Snowflake? So it's an analytical data warehousing tool uh, implemented as a software as a service, and it is built on a new SQL engine. Uh, use it on any cloud like uh, AWS, Azure, or on GCP, Google Cloud. Okay. You can and uh, you can load the data and just query it, and uh, that will be very simple. So it's a Remarkable feature is like uh, you can spin up uh, any number of uh, virtual warehouses, which uh, are the basically compute instances you can say where you can run your execute your query. Okay, and user can operate on unlimited number of independent workloads against the same data without any risk of connect tension. Okay, so that's why Snowflake is important tools nowadays, and it's getting popular. It's in so much in demand, easier to learn, widely used, and it have very Rich features. Um, so the question is, what are the advantage of using Snowflake? Why people are using so much? Uh, so interviewer can ask you like, uh, what are the uh, best uh, features available with Snowflake? Also, so you can see like uh, you you just need to load the data into Snowflake, and uh, you can analyze all the data without having any issue. You can process multiple data types. You can uh, maintain or manage the data easily, and it's very secure. It provides so many security features, and it's uh, offering pay as you go model. Like uh, you, ju you just need to pay individually for uh, the storing of storage of data and uh, individual compute like uh, virtual warehouses. Okay, and also you can leverage uh, various uh, Snowflake services like Snowpipe, Snowtask. And so many options are there that will make your work very easier. So Snowpipe is basically it, they can ask you a specific question: What is Snowpipe? Then you can say, okay, that is a uh, continuous data loading tool, uh, a service available on Snowflake. Okay. Then it will provide you very highly optimized and very good performance, and it's used for like analytical tools. Okay, so these are the advantages. Basically, you can say with Snowflake, and uh, it provides so many features like uh, database and object closing support for XML, uh, Java object notation like JSON. Also, you can use for creating like uh, some services with Snowflake. Then support, uh, it provides external tables, high metadata store integration. You can do it support geospatial data security and data protection. It provides data sharing is very easier with Snowflake. Then you can search to the search optimization service and uh, result caching. Also, you can do with Snowflake. Okay. Now let's move to next question. So while having any data warehousing interview or what is the difference between all AP and OLTP? So firstly, full form is like online uh, analytical processing and for OLTP is online transactional processing. Okay. So the definition you can say like um, OLTP is for like multi-dimensional analysis you can do of the data. This will be arranged in cube, cube format and you can model it uh, in a dimensional structure. While OLTP is like, you can arrange the data in a relational table and uh, dimensional structuring of data is not necessary in that. Then schema wise, you can use uh, OLTP, uh, like you can use Snowflake schema or star schema, but in OLTP you can use flat schema. So OLTP is like renormalized, but OLTP is normalized one. Then limitation are like OLTP insert and updates are slow, while in OLTP you can read operation uh, will be slow, but insert and update will be faster. Advantage is like uh, uh, this, as we have uh, just told like uh, fast read operations in OLTP and OLTP we have like fast updates and insert. Okay. So others are like, uh, you can typically involve large data volumes and historical data you can typically involves with OLTP, but uh, uh, OLTP is like typically you can data volumes are less and historical data is generally not maintained. So OLTP basically used for uh, like you are using uh, for any banking services like transactional data. So some transaction is going on, you can use with OLTP. But in OLTP, you need to use like so you are working on some historical data, then you can use it. Okay. So these are the basically differences between OLTP and OLTP. You can say like that. Now the question is like, uh, what is the difference between Snowflake and Redshift? So both are uh, very famous uh, like data warehousing services uh, currently available. And Snowflake, uh, as you will get by Snowflake company itself, but uh, AWS Redshift is a native AWS uh, cloud service, which you can use on AWS itself. Okay, so if you talk about the differences, then yeah, uh, AWS Redshift, is uh, uh, vacuuming is required and uh, analysis and analyzing of table periodically it will be required but in snowflake uh, very zero maintenance you can say from the end users well AWS natively provides support for Snow Redshift. So you will see like uh, using other services role or Lambda or RDS or any other service, you can easily connect with uh, Redshift. But uh, if you try to connect with Snowflake, then it will take time because uh, Snowflake is not natively supported. Then 
you do not need to set up uh, snowflake uh, separately like uh, uh, snowflake you just need to create account you need to load data and you can query it while in uh, recip you need to create recip cluster and uh, you, you will use like a cluster for storage and uh, uh, cluster as storage and computer are not separated okay while in uh, snowflake uh, both are separated okay then snowflake like selection of cloud provider required you can you know, select any cloud provider like aws azure or uh, gcp while in uh, redshift it will be like uh, uh, AWS is already providing it and designing data workflow to match resource size will be there and data optimization required while in Snowflake it's not required because uh, Snowflake automatically optimize the data and uh, management wise uh, it's uh, for AWS Redshift if you are not uh, having any knowledge of AWS uh, architecture then it will be difficult for you to manage it while Snowflake it will be where you can learn it and manage it easily and uh, Redshift is uh, like customer may spend some duration to maintain it like updating things uh, or patching things. So that happened with the Redshift, but it's not required with Snowflake. So that were the differences uh, with uh, Redshift and Snowflake. Now, if you talk about uh, architecture of Snowflake, then uh, it have three parts. Like one is cloud services, then query processing, then database storage. That uh, the storage data is recognized like into an, its internal optimized columnar and optimized format where you can store your data. Then you have query processing where virtual warehouses will be take place and uh, virtual warehouses will be basically compute instances which will process the queries in Snowflake. Then we have cloud services. This layer is like topmost layer and uh, it coordinates and handles all the activities across the Snowflake. It uh, will provide you uh, some services like uh, authentication, uh, security, access management, uh, metadata management, infrastructure management, and query parsing. So these things will be happen with the cloud services. So these are the like uh, basically uh, Snowflake architecture which is built on uh, like uh, you can see AWS data cloud data warehouse and is using SaaS offering. Okay, uh, there is no software hardware or any ongoing maintenance or tuning will be required if you are working on Snowflake. So these were the questions that we have discussed currently. And if you need more uh, interview questions of Snowflake, then you can comment below and subscribe our channel. Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you.